Support for She Comes First is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-waist grooming. Their products are precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Join over 6 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free shipping worldwide with the code SCF20 at manscaped.com. So, if my math is correct, that's like 12 million balls. I've used porn star recommended trimmers in the past, but my Manscaped trimmer works extremely well for me. It's the best by far. Real talk. You see, I actually own the Performance Package 4.0. So when your box arrives, you will get the Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Toner, a pair of Performance Boxer Briefs, and a travel bag to hold all of those goodies. Their fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. The Lawnmower 4.0 is waterproof and also has a 4K LED spotlight you need for a more precise shave. Their Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner will change your approach to your hygiene routine. Trust me when I say this fellas, your balls will thank you. Just a quick reminder, get 20% off and free shipping with the code SCF20 at manscaped.com. Okay, one more time. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com using the code SCF20. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Good day, everybody, and what's up? Welcome to the podcast for Selfless Sex and She Comes First. I am Dr. Nick. Today is November the 1st. 2022. Holy shit. And I hope everyone out there is having a damn good day. So as you just heard, that is my new sponsor, Manscaped, and that runs for a few more weeks. So be sure to go to manscaped.com, use the code SCF20 and get 20% off. And I'm really still jazzed about that. This is my first sponsor, so I'm, it's, I'm really tickled. But moving on, Um, If you're new to the podcast, be sure to hit that like button and even better, just take a second and subscribe on iTunes or Spotify or whatever. We have a lot of fun over here. So let's turn the page. Today, I want to talk to you about women and vaginal orgasms. It seems like they are the redheaded stepchildren within the orgasm world, you know, because everyone's talking about clitoral stimulation and this and that. But believe it or not. Some women do not need clitoral stimulation in order to have certain types of orgasms. And according to some experts out there who I'm starting to follow, and I I really need to dig down a little bit more about this, having a vaginal orgasm could become a learned behavior. So let's talk about that today. So to get this podcast started, I just want to mention that there are a few types of orgasms out there that women are known to experience. So let's go through just a few of them. Of course, there is the clitoral orgasm, and women typically describe this as as an orgasm that you feel on the surface of your body. It's kind of tingly that runs along your skin and gets into your brain. There is the vaginal orgasm, where these types of orgasms are typically deeper in the body and are accompanied by pulsations in the vaginal canal. There is an anal orgasm, and there is also an anal orgasm. The muscle contractions you will feel will be in the anal canal and around the anal sphincter, but not inside the vagina. Next, we have the blended or combo orgasm, and this is where the vagina and the clitoris are stimulated at the same time, And this tends to result in a more explosive type of orgasms. So to better explain, these orgasms are typically accompanied by full body trembles and tremors. 
my personal favorite. And finally, there is something known as the convulsing orgasm, where you have your pelvic floor muscles are contracting over and over and over again really quickly. And the difference is these orgasms typically occur after a very long buildup, and then there's that explosion. So there you have five different types of orgasms that women can experience. But in this podcast, I want to focus in on the vaginal orgasm. A few years ago, the Journal of Sex and Marital Therapy put out a study which basically said around 80% of women do not orgasm from intercourse alone, where they need some sort of additional clitoral stimulation. So the study also said around one in five women or around 20% of women say that they can orgasm from intercourse alone without any sort of additional stimulation. So I was wondering if there was some sort of incidental or passive clitoral stimulation going on with a penis or with a dildo. And whatever the case, if it is, there is. If it wasn't, there wasn't. That's fine. But I'm really excited that these women can actually have an orgasm without any sort of direct clitoral stimulation. And one other problem I have with what I've been reading about these vaginal orgasms is they keep saying that you should stimulate the G-spot to trigger a vaginal orgasm. And from my understanding and from my own experience, a a G-spot orgasm is completely different than a vaginal orgasm. Or maybe nowadays they're trying to connect the two. But from my personal experience, I've had partners who had a G-spot and who did not have a G-spot. And both groups are able to have a vaginal orgasm. So I'm not really sure what these other experts out there are saying and or trying to do. Or maybe now there there could be a movement to try to connect these two types of orgasms, which is fine, I guess. But... I still believe that they are separate and there's no reason to connect them. So really quickly, there is another sex expert out there who I have been reading a lot about lately, and her name is Susan Bratton. And she kind of questions this whole idea that women need clitoral stimulation in order to have an orgasm. Kind of like I'm questioning it right now this second. And she has her own system which is called Thrusting Time. And no, this is not an ad for her. Please go to her website and check it out. It seems to be pretty pretty interesting. But it's based off an old Taoist sexual technique from many, many years ago, where it's a combination of shallow and shallow strokes and short strokes and deep strokes and long strokes using either a penis or a dildo, which could trigger a vaginal orgasm in your female partner. Now, I'm not sure if she is talking about G-spot stimulation or just vaginal stimulation, because as I said before, maybe it could be some sort of passive clit stimulation or or incidental clitoral clitoral stimulation there as well. Or just the fact that the woman feels full can make her can give her some sort of pleasure where she will have a vaginal orgasm. So to close out this podcast, let me say this directly to the ladies. Hopefully you have a partner who really cares about your pleasure and is willing to play with you and experiment and have a good time trying to experience these various types of orgasms. If you can't have them, there's no pressure and or don't put pressure on yourself to have them. But try it for a clitoral orgasm, maybe a vaginal orgasm. A combo orgasm, which is always fun, in my personal opinion, because that's my personal favorite. And they can maybe you can try to have some sort of, you know, convulsing orgasm or whatever. And if you are single and you want to try these things by yourself, um, edging is a really good fun thing for you to try. Where you almost where you bring yourself to the edge of having an orgasm, and then you kind of fall back and you keep doing that over and over and over again. And then there's that buildup. So when that orgasm finally hits you, you will feel it from the top of your head down to the tips of your toes. And those are big ones. So that's just something for you to think about. But yes, please take your time and have fun and learn to experience or try to experience these different types of orgasms. 
So on that note, I am out. You guys have a great day. Stay tuned and I will talk to you soon. Wait a second. Hold on there. As you can see, today is not November the 1st. Most likely it's somewhere around the 5th. And I want to and I really wanted to add just a few things to this conversation before I go. So ladies, hear me out. I want to say this. Yes, you may be able to have a clitoral orgasm. Yes, you may be able to have a vaginal orgasm. But what other ways can you have an orgasm? For example, some women can have an orgasm by having a scalp massage. Some women can have an orgasm by having their big toes sucked. Some women can have an orgasm by just having their nipples played with. Some women can have an orgasm by giving a blowjob to their male partner. So my question to you is, what other ways gives you pleasure so accidentally you may have an orgasm? I'm not sitting here talking to you about being like sexually focused on having an orgasm. I want to talk about pleasure here. What other ways can your body experience pleasure which in turn may lead you to have an orgasm? That's my question. So don't limit yourself to only a clitoral orgasm or a vaginal orgasm or whatever. I believe good sex comes from playing around, having a good and nice and caring partner and exploration. So take some time out. Maybe you can try by yourself when you're alone and just explore your body so you can find out what other things give you pleasure. And if a dirty side effect of that is that you have an orgasm, so be it. So now, on that note, I'm out. You guys have a great day. Stay tuned. And I'll talk to you soon.